Pizza Flix presents Classic Movie Monday. The Cisco Kid is a fictional character created by O. Henry for his short story, The Caballero's Way, first published in 1907. Four actors portrayed this Western hero in 25 films during the sound era. In 1928, the first all-talking Western starred Warner Baxter as the Cisco Kid, followed by Cesar Romero, Duncan Ronaldo, and Gilbert Rowland. Sleep well, my father. Today another debt will be paid. Why does Cisco make a notch on the cross? Not so loud. You are new to us, Pedro, so I tell you. Once a year, Cisco come to the grave of his father. He was the greatest bandit of all California. Now Cisco make up his mind and try to pay for his father's crime. So he take it from the rich people who are bad and gives to the poor. That way, his good father can have the long sleep with clear conscience. Hey, it is getting late. Baby, why do you worry so much about time? Time is a wonderful thing. It uh, ages wine and mellows women. Why don't muchachos, now we ride to El Monte and wash the dust from my throat.
time you change from the pumpkin to the princess. I'm sorry you have to wait, Pepita. Pepita, you are Angela's older sister and have always watched out for her. For her sake and mine, see that she appears as the most beautiful senorita in all California. Well, it is a very simple matter to dress a woman who is already beautiful. When she comes down the stairs, she will draw the breath from every man, including your senor Lawton. See, si, most especially the senor Lawton. <laughs> Senores, what are you doing here? The same as usual, Don Felipe. We have come to collect the money you owe us. For the past three years. But I am giving a fiesta. This is not the time for such things. <laughs> On the contrary, it is the time. To find out where you're getting the money for the fiesta. And not for the bills. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you do not understand. The fiesta is to welcome my new partner. And he will liquidate the debts of this rancho. Who has that much money? The Americano who's marrying my youngest daughter, Angela. Ah, very well done, Felipe. We will wait and see. Good day. Anybody. This fiesta is to impress the Americano so that he'll marry the daughter. Mm. I've heard that the marriage plans are already settled. This Senor Lawton is rumored to be very rich. And Don Felipe is rumored to be very poor. <laughs> <laughs> to the happy marriage. Right. To the happy marriage. Maybe I love Juan, but I also like Senor Lawton very much. He was most attentive to me at the governor's ball at Monterey. But are you in love with him? It will be a very successful marriage. Because of the Americano's money? Yes. You know we are going to lose this hacienda unless we raise much money. We were born in this hacienda. And this place means everything to our father. It, it is the least I can do for him. It is an old Spanish custom to feel the deep love in the heart before you feel the marriage ring on the finger. If I didn't love a man, I wouldn't marry him. I don't care if he's the king of Spain or... or Cisco kid. <laughs> what a choice of bandit! Why not? He can lift the heavy purse. Why not a mortgage, too? <laughs> Listen. This music. This night will be filled with romance. I wonder who among the guests will be my caballero. The guest of honor, the Americano. Thank you, senores. But if we keep toasting my guest, Senor Lawton, before he arrives, perhaps we do not see him when he gets here. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the uncorking of such fine wine, this Senor Lawton must be of great importance. Far to the north, he owns many miles of the finest land. I have had the honor to be his guest. We met him in Monterrey. My daughter, Angela, was most impressed. Excuse me. Juan, you are not coming to the fiesta? You are not dressed. For what? To meet the man who is going to marry the girl I love? Angela loves that man. I love my daughter. So I give this party with my last peso. Or is this marriage to get more pesos? I allow no man to say that. Or even think it. You know better, Juan. It's only that she fell in love with somebody else. 
You'll find some other girl. There are many girls around here for such a good-looking man. No, thank you, Don Felipe. when this trip is over. So much money inside, it makes me nervous. Ah, uh, what's the matter with you? Most of the money we carry inside was given by poor Indians, peons, and even the priest to help build a mission at El Monte. Say, this is a nice haul. Enough silver to break the backs of the men who lift it. All right, Cisco. We got what we want. Now we go. I should spread the news, all right. Have you given the men their orders? Miguel will take the men to his place in the hills as you ordered. There he'll keep the silver safe and pay the men off. Good. On your way, amigos. It's a good thing we were riding along this road and found you. Here, give me a hand. We'll take to the hacienda of Don Felipe Peralta where we can get a doctor.
algún regalito. Ahí está el regalo. María, get me some tequila, a piece of lemon, and a little salt. Está bien. <laughs> Hello, Antonito. Hello. How are you? Fine. Where is the little girl that was your sweetheart last year? Don't you love her anymore? No. Who do you love now? My mama and my papa. Oh. Do you like anybody else? Si. Sí. Who? You. I got a little price for you. Oh. Oh, thank you. And here's a little present for you. Thank you. Mama, mama. Ah, Maria, you look wonderful. How many children have you now, Maria? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, seven. Seven? Last year, you only have five. Doing. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Maria. Thank you. What's the matter with you, baby? I am worried. Worried? With that? What's the matter? Don't this go give you enough to eat, huh? Don't you get enough tortillas, frijoles, chiles, rellenos, tamales? Si, but it's always the same thing. You give the money away. Last week, we got plenty of money. But this week, you give the money to the poor? Ah, when I can no longer do that, I will turn myself in and collect the reward. But I collect nothing but worry. Baby, you cannot worry when you have no money. Because if you have no money, you have nothing to worry about. Money, you can forget. But a beautiful woman, ah, uh, you can never forget that. Never. Ah, vámonos. Now we go. Vámonos, muchachos. <laughs> Hello, Rocky Thomas. For you, here, Conchita, for you. And here, Maria Luisa. Now you be good little children, eh? Eh, adios. Hello, amigo. How do you do, senor? You are feeling well? Very well, senor. It is such a beautiful day. Gracias, senor. God bless you. Adios, amigo. You are as beautiful as the flower itself. Gracias, senor. And you are as agile as the monkey himself. ¿Qué pasa con la música, hombre? Ándale. Estrella. 
glass que iluminan son tus ojos. Tú eres la razón de mi Ser para ti es el soñar de una vida. Sentir latir juntito a mí tu corazón. Those are pretty words. Why don't you sing them yourself? Oh, no, I, I have a voice like a frog with a sore throat. My friend, he sings a song of love for me. He sings of love. But who makes it? All the world. The bees, the birds, the little rabbits. And sometimes the Cisco kid. The Cisco kid? But you cannot be. Why not? What do you think he looks like? I... I don't know. I've never seen him. If you knew him, senorita, you would like him. I am the Cisco kid. But... Look at that saddle. Cisco? He is a poor man. He does not ride on a saddle of silver. Oh, that is a present I got from a friend of mine. I would like to meet such a friend. It is too late now. He he went away the same day I got the present. You live in a very pretty fine house here. I work here, senor. Are you... Are you always alone like this? My husband, he's a fisherman. Who is a long time away. Your husband? Oh. Sometime when I see your husband, I will tell him that the fishing is much better here on land. Adios, beautiful. What is the matter, my friend? I'm the driver of the wagon, Monterey. We were held up. Most of the boys were killed. Uh, hold up, huh? Some people have no regard for the law. How much money did they get? They got everything. And most of it belonged to the church. They were going to build a new mission at El Monte. A new mission, huh? Tell me more about these hold up, amigo. They shot me and left me in the ditch. Who did? The Cisco kid and his men. Tell me more, amigo. Then some, some, some men came. They took the, the wounded messenger to the hacienda of Don, Don Felipe. Who were they? Who, who were these names? Who were they? Yes, it will go. I think we go to the hacienda of Don Felipe. Vámonos. Ah, vámonos. Now we go. Vámonos, muchachos. You will be 
here soon, I hope. The musicians will be leaving in a moment. I can hire them for longer. This Senor Lawton is here. Oh. Senor Lawton. Don Felipe, it's good to see you. Welcome, welcome to my humble hacienda. Thank you. You have had a long, hard trip, senor. And a bloody one. I have a man with me who was wounded in a holdup. Holdup? He needs help. Oh, Fernando, Jose, help that poor man. You get the doctor right away. In Seguida! Is he badly hurt? He's lost some blood on the ride here, but it's only a scratch. Don Felipe. Oh, senor Luis. <laughs> Senoras y señores, this is my honored guest, Senor Lotton. Oh, no, I should say, Mr. Lotton. He's an Americano. It is good to see you again, Senor Lotton. Angelo, you're more beautiful than ever. My sister, Pepita. How do you do? This is something for which I've come a long way. And I hear it was a dangerous way. Nothing serious enough to keep us apart. I have something very special for you. <laughs> the holdup was committed by the Cisco Kids. Oh, but don't be alarmed about it. The last I saw him, he was running like a rabbit. <laughs> So that's the man she prefers. <laughs> you do not like him? The point is that she likes him. Is your Spanish blood turned to water? But, but what should I do? Fight for her. Should I go in there and start a fight? I am a gentleman. Don't be a gentleman. If I have to go in there and, and provoke a quarrel to win the girl I love, I, I am better off without her. And she is better off without you. I hope the stranger is enjoying the hospitality of Don Felipe. Why do they put so much water in the wine? It spoils it. Wine should be treated very gently, like a... like a beautiful woman. And what might be the nature of the senor's visit? I would like to know the answer to some questions. Well, this is the hacienda of Don Felipe. I am his daughter, Pepita. The moonlight is beautiful. The roosters, they crow in the morning. And the mosquitoes, they bite in the night. And I am very well, thank you. Senorita, was there a wounded man brought here? Yes, a very old man. He was attacked by the Cisco kid. Oh, that is not true, senorita. How do you know? He does not harm old people. And what about young ladies? He kisses them. Were well, you insolent? Shh. Senorita, harsh words are not becoming to such beautiful lips. I will call my father. Oh, no, no, senorita. You do not want to see me hanging by the neck. Who are you? I am Luis Antonio Damaso Alonso Smith at your service. Who said that uh, the Cisco kid attacked the old man? The Senor Lotto. Where is he? In the house. Thank you, Senorita. Wait! What is it? I... I... I don't remember. Pepita! Pepita! Yes, I'll be there in a moment.
I've always said those bandits are cowards. Cisco, a coward? I have heard he's fearless. Oh, yes, that's the sort of reputation he'd like to build up for himself. But I'll meet him at any time with a gun or sword. I have also heard he's an expert swordsman. But Mr. Lawton is the finest swordsman in all California. Oh, but now, we've talked long enough on a most unpleasant subject. To our charming host, Don Felipe, and his lovely daughter, Angela. Oh, but we are wasting that beautiful music. Come on, everybody to the patio. I have a special entertainment for you. Mr. Lawton, I understand you rescued a wounded man after a holdup, and that you fought the Cisco kid. That's right. How do you know it was him? Why, the wounded man identified him. But you did not see him. I didn't see his face. He was wearing a mask. You must be very careful what you say, senor. He might not like it. He does not wear a mask. What happened? I was just held up here at the window. He took a shot at me. Help us search for a tall, dark man wearing a white scarf with a gun and belt. And when you see him, shoot and don't miss. Yes, sir. Don't let him get away. Keep your eyes open. Search the grounds well. You men come with me. Right. Jose, did he get away? Si, senorita, he's gone. Oh. Will you get me some hot chocolate and oh, some cakes and bring to my room, huh? Si, senorita. I covered every road leading from here. Not a sign of him. Not a sign of him down the south way either. I don't know where he could have gone. My heart feels so light and free now. This sun shines for only me now. I saw in a gay sombrero a romantic caballero. His kiss was so sweet and tender. What could I do but surrender? His arms were so warm around me, and his love seemed to surround me. I'm so in love, I'm silly. I've never felt like this. I never lived until he brought me this magic bliss. Tonight, I'll be waiting for him. I'll sigh and say I adore him, my dashing caballero, in his roguish gay sombrero. The song is very beautiful. Your voice is very pretty. But the chocolate is terrible. What happened to Jose? Was that the little servant? Oh, I locked him up in the closet. Do you know what it would mean if you were found in my room? Oh, yes. But I would tell them that you are still an honorable lady of uh, great dignity and much beauty. I am not talking about my honor. It is simply that I don't like the sight of blood. And this is such a pretty room. Oh, you have a sense of humor, huh? You would make a wonderful companion for 
journeys up in the mountains. Is that a proposal? No, that's my sense of humor. I don't know what keeps me from calling for help. I do. Tell me, senorita, who is this man, uh, Mr. Lawton? He's going to marry my sister, Angela. He's a wealthy Americano from Monterey. Oh. Then he would have much money with him, huh? Why? Well, maybe I steal it. Just like that. You're very brave. You are very beautiful. Cisco. I know who you are. No other man could be like you. Now I must go. Soon I will come back. Maybe for the money of Senor Lawton. Maybe for a kiss of the Senorita. What's the matter, Juan? Pepita, there's a bandit on the grounds. Lock your doors. Who is this man? He's a friend of the family. Oh. Hasta la vista. Like a jellyfish. Who was he? Who was that man? The Cisco kid. Go get him. He rolled to the hills. If I catch him, what do I do? Kill him? If you catch him, bring him to me. getaway I ever saw. Why didn't you kill him when you had the chance? I tried to, but you saw what he did. Well, if that is the Cisco, we made a mistake trying to pin the hold up on him. He'll never let us alone now. Uh, we may have some more trouble with him, but the money is saved from the Gills Mountain hideout. He could have been followed, couldn't he? Only by a buzzard. That's why they call it the Mountain of the Shadows. All right, let's go in and see if we can explain how he got away.
beside the price to pay for liberty. your bandits you are, the mountains could fall on you before you close your mouth. All right. Go to sleep, all of you. <coughs> Baby. Where have you been all this time? Oh, I was busy listening to a marriage arrangement. Marriage? You? Not me, you donkey's head. It's the daughter of Don Felipe with this American man. You know, baby, I know who stole the money that belongs to the mission. Mr. Lawton. Did you kill him? No. This time, I have a problem. With blue eye? Mm -hmm. uh, what are you talking about? This is the problem. A man comes to the hacienda of Don Felipe and he says he is very rich so he can marry the pretty daughter. Pretty daughter, huh? Oh, beautiful. She is making this marriage for, for the sake of her father. He's a nice old goat, but he needs the help that he thinks this man Lawton is going to bring to him. Poor man. Well, maybe we will kill the father, too. Ah, you have a head like a watermelon. Here, sing me a song, huh? Following me all night long. What do you want? I, I've come to ask you something. Please, let me ride with you. Why? I overheard Senor Lawton and his friend talking about the holdup and where the money was hidden. Where is it? A hideout in a place called the Mountain of the Shadows. Can you tell me how to get there? I will take you there. Please, please let me ride with you. For you to ride with us would be like putting a calf with a herd of bulls. You won't be sorry. I'll face anything. Many times we come face to face with another horseman. He is not a pretty horseman. He is deaf. I am not afraid. Well, <laughs> baby, you come with me. Sure. All right, muchachos, you go back to sleep and don't snore so loud. You might wake the crickets up.
This is it. No one but the eagle can go up there. The mountain goat which you resemble can also get up there. I'm gonna... Well... I don't like the way you look at me. You have any ideas about starting trouble? Let me explain something to you first. Lawton will track every one of you down and shoot you like dogs. You're not paying us enough. I'm paying what I was told to pay you. Besides, what did you do but kill a few men? Lawton had brains enough to plan the holdup. You should have brains enough to keep quiet and get out. Too much silver there for one man. Not if Lawton is the man. He has good use for it and it stays here until he comes for it. Now you are a real caballero. Maybe. Uh, one man is missing. Which one? The one that was counting the money. I catch you. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, let him go. Put the money in the bags and count it. One at a time? One at a time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. What a delightful place. I'm already enthusiastic about it. You know, with a few improvements, it could be made profitable. It's a happy circumstance that brought us together. <laughs> I'm sure. Good morning, Don Felipe. Good morning. Mr. Lawton, a messenger from Monterey is here. It's urgent. You'll pardon me, Don Felipe. Of course.
Tell them what you told me. The silver, it's all gone. If you're telling the truth, I'll kill you. I'm sorry, but it's the truth and it wasn't my fault. All right, what happened? Did the men steal it? I was paying them off at our place in the mountains when we were attacked. And I was the only one who got away. Who attacked you? I don't know. From the description he told me, it's the one who was here last night. Now I'm sure of it. Well, you got away, did you see what they did with it? They loaded on the horses and took it away. Go into town and form a posse. Get back that money. Wait for me. So you're gonna lose this place. Yeah, that's the way it looks. Your money could have been stolen too. That's exactly what happened. It was good news, I hope. On the contrary, Don Felipe, unpleasant news. It seems the money I was having sent here to complete our arrangement was stolen in the holdup. Oh. It will be necessary for me to return to Monterey at once and convert some securities. Then we have to postpone the marriage. Well, the only alternative would be an immediate marriage. And that's a violation of tradition. Besides, a man can't ask a girl to forego her engagement. Oh, but Angelo will be so disappointed. But what about you? You wouldn't want your daughter to marry a man who'd fail to fulfill his business arrangements. But you couldn't help it. The money was stolen. You mean that you're willing to go through with the deal? Turn over the deeds? Of course. If Angela is willing, let me speak to her. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's unheard of, Don Felici. The ceremony would have to take place today. But I can make the necessary arrangements. Very well, Don Felipe. If you wish. Rosita? Si, senorita. That song is very pretty. Where did you learn it? Oh, in the village. It is a song that Cisco and his men sing. Tell me about this, this Cisco kid. Oh, senorita, he is very handsome with white teeth and curly hair, and he rides like the wind and makes love just as fast. Truly, he is the greatest of all caballeros. How do you know? I have heard. And I have heard enough about caballeros. That will be all, Rosita. Me, Pepita. I'm sorry. And if what I'm thinking is true, I'm going to stick someone else. And with something bigger than a pin. Stand still. What's the matter with you? Juan. Juan? Huh. He is the least of my worries. Good. I was beginning to get a little interested in him myself. There. He's finished. Mother's wedding dress. Do you remember what she said? She said we should never marry a man in this dress. Unless we were as much in love with him as she was with our father. Here, try it on. <laughs> hmm, at least of her worry. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father. You are crying. It is nothing, Father. I... I don't want you to go through with this marriage. Oh, don't say that. It is my own wish that I do. Such wishes do not bring tears. Oh, oh, yes. Tears go with happiness. And that is exactly what this marriage will bring for all of us. You were born to this rancho. You, 
your father, and those before him who started it. But I cannot keep it going. Oh, yes, you can, with Mr. Lawton's money. Oh, don't look that way. He's... He's a man that any woman would want. He'll make this ranch exactly as we've dreamed. Are you sure your own dreams are included in that? Oh, yes. I, I wish it were today. I can hardly wait. You do? Yes. Could you be ready so soon? Oh, yes. Then it shall be today. <laughs> oh, Father. How do you do, Father? How you do, son? I have not seen you for a long time. Oh, I have been away. I understand you are going to build a new mission. Oh, that will not be for a long time. We have plans and money. Money donated by the poor of our church, but was stolen as it was being brought here. Ah, some people have no conscience. They will steal from anybody. I am sorry you are in trouble, Father. Uh, Father, where is, uh, where is Father Lopez? I, I have not seen him. We're preparing for the wedding of uh, Don Felipe's daughter to Senor Lawton. I thought that was going to be tomorrow. Senor Lawton has changed the plans, and they're having a wedding today. Today, huh? Oh. Father, you know, when I was a little boy and I was in trouble, my mother always told me to pray. Maybe you better do the same thing, huh? Why don't you go inside and say one little prayer? Yes, my son, I will. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Angela, you're very lovely. The carriage is ready to take us to the mission? Si, senor. Please. <laughs> Just a moment. Mr. Norton, I admire the bandit who steals honestly, but I do not like the citizen who lives dishonestly. Who is this man? You stole the money that belonged to the mission and blame it on another man. But, Senor Lawton! Juan! Take Don Felipe and his guests away and explain to them about Senor Lawton. Oh, Father! And take Angela in your arms, too. She is going to faint.
I'm unarmed. Don't I get a chance to defend myself? Adios, beautiful one. Until we meet again. Cisco. Where for baby? Where for baby? Decide the price to pay for liberty. 